Life Audio. A prayer for deeper conversations with the Lord. By Victoria Riolano, read by Leah Martin. Now he was in a certain place praying, and when he stopped, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us how to pray, just as John also taught his disciples. Luke 11, 1. Every day is the same. Before bed, my children, my husband, and I gather together and pray. Most days, I can almost predict what my younger children will say. It typically starts like this. Thank you, Jesus, for this day and all your blessings. Help us to be good and not have bad dreams. Amen. Day after day, the same thoughtless, repetitive prayers echo from their hearts. The truth is, this phrase, Thank you, Jesus, for this day and all your blessings, was not one they'd learned on television or in church. Their own father had started every prayer this way since he was a child. It was only natural, then, that they would think every prayer must begin in this manner. After noticing this pattern one day, I paused in the middle of prayer and asked them if they could try praying for themselves, or for a friend, or for the world around them. It seemed that prayer had become just another ritual, like brushing their teeth or taking a bath. It was simply what they had to do. I realized more and more that it was our job as parents to push the envelope, to break free from routine and teach them how to pray. We see the importance of prayer throughout the Bible, so much so that Jesus' disciples asked him personally how to pray. What I love about Luke 11, 2-4 is that the disciples recognized prayer was so essential to their mission that they had to know the process. So he said to them, When you pray, say, O Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us. And lead us not into temptation. So much happens in this moment. Jesus teaches the disciples to honor the Lord, to pray His will, to seek His provision, and to ask for forgiveness. Without a doubt, Jesus encourages the disciples that they could seek their Father for every need. Today, I wonder how our lives would be changed if we prayed this same prayer. Lord, teach us how to pray when we feel overwhelmed. Lord, teach us how to pray when we're waiting for test results. Teach us to pray when we don't even have the words to say. Even more so, teach us how to teach those you've entrusted to us, whether it's our child or a fellow Christian. Prayer is the foundation of every Christian's life. Prayer is not just a routine part of our day. It's our way to communicate with a God who shifts situations who brings life from death, and who forgives. May we always see prayer as an opportunity to commune with a sovereign God, not just a thoughtless routine. There is still power and life change when it comes to prayer. My prayer today is this. Teach us, Lord, how to pray. Dear Lord, Help me to never take prayer for granted. Often, prayer can become an afterthought or just the reciting of meaningless words. Lord, instead, teach us how to pray even when we aren't sure what to say. Teach us how to pray when the world around us is falling apart and when things are going great. Show us the value of being in deep relationship with you and let us run to you for every situation and not away. And Lord, if there are opportunities to teach others to pray, show us. Give us the wisdom to encourage others to fall more deeply in love with you, Lord. We thank you for the gift of prayer. In Jesus' name, amen.